the origins of our band uh, started out in a small uh, locale called Chembur. Yeah, play some, play some uh, Chembur type music. music. Yeah. Yeah. We just sort of stayed committed to not doing this for anything other than providing a, a competent global contribution to uh, the the world sort of pool of extreme music, and we represent India in that. I don't think we're really under the category of metal per se. I think it's most more inclined towards post hardcore, I guess. What is post hardcore? I also don't know, man. I think more than anything else, we kind of let our uh, shenanigans influence, influence us a lot. Right? I think laughter has been the most important thing in our uh, existence. Like, if we, we, we wouldn't be here if we didn't have a, you know, a yeah. sense of humor. Kuto and P-Man are old friends and they're part of a very, very iconic band. It's like a big family reunion of sorts because now that we are all in under one roof and trying to come up with a track that basically expresses what we all feel about each other in that way. This is Scribe. Their music might sound seriously heavy, but they behave like anything but. Their philosophy is simple. Make good music and have a good time. Scribe have been making their iconic brand of music since 2006. With their signature heavy sound, they've never really failed to impress. Their music is filled with inside jokes, pop culture references and things they have a crazy passion for. Scribe fans love them for the music as much as their irreverence. And know that if there's a Scribe party happening somewhere in town, be sure it's the only place which will have a mosh pit that will keep you in splits. Vice Versa started out in 2011. It was just a bedroom project to begin with. It was a bunch of loops that I sent to P-Man. And then he heard it, he's like, we could do something with it. I tried out putting vocals in one song and it sounded nice and we said, man, let's make some more songs. I played drums in a few bands, then I play guitar and do this looper thing. There's a lot of gear to carry around. And then in this band, all I have to do is turn up, dance. That's what this band is to me, it's dance party. And same thing for P-Man, he's like, I don't have to carry a bass guitar, yeah. So it's a dance party. When Vishwesh called me up and asked me, man, this is happening and would you want to do it? And I'm like, yeah. I've known the, some of the scribe guys for like over 10 years. From the old scene, we've all been in rock bands from really a long time ago. And this is the first time we've come together to actually make something. I've been a very metal kind of kid, which is why it's awesome working with scribe. is hip-hop act vice versa. Alongside key beat maker Manas Ulas are indie veterans Rohit P-Man Pereira and Sid Kuto. These boys know how to get the crowd going while having a blast themselves. And you know, vice versa. <laughs> vice versa makes music to bring the house down. Bass heavy hip-hop and drum and bass may be the genre. But when playing live, it doesn't matter whether you're a fan or not. They will make you move. Collaboration for them is a standard, having worked with the likes of Siddharth Basrur, Shalmali Kurgade and Sky Harbour's Keshavdar. What can be expected from this collaboration with Scribe is nothing less than an explosion of musical awesomeness. Please, please, why don't you start off with a note, sir? We are always start song with sudden bass. <laughs> So now that the foundation has been laid, you know, we play funk, vice versa plays jazz. <laughs> so, I think... <laughs> I'm a bowel singer. Yeah. So I think that, that, that fast that will be created from the funk and jazz, will say it over. But I think this direction is not working. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's for sure. Like at some point, the, this song should get like really, really heavy. And some drop should be there. Yeah. Some yeah. sudden some bass drop has bass. to be there. Sudden bass. Let's just, just break the boundaries of our normal music. Yeah. See, what we normally do is make like hip hop y, dancey kind of thing. What you guys can do is pretty much the same thing but with distortion <laughs> guitar on top. So let's put all these genres together and not do any of them. Yeah. Let's do something completely out of our comfort zone. <laughs> Is 
very soon. Let's try it at 130. 130. We have Manas sort of building an electronic base uh, atop which we're, we're trying to compose something. We're just sort of warming up to seeing the many different parts that will come within a song. Typically with uh, Scribe, it's never really a very linear approach to songwriting. <laughs> Super way. You feeling this? I think it's a very different experience for us because we normally, when we write music, you know, I write it on my computer, he writes it on his computer, and we just, you know, exchange stuff. I think today we actually, you know, all of us got together in a room and we actually played. We came up with something like collaboratively together, like in the same in the same room. The kind of music that Scribe is used to making is, is kind of complicated. You, you can't just like write it in one go. So they were doing their thing. P Man doesn't write like that. I don't write like that. They were watching kind of on the sidelines while being within it. It was an interesting experience. Are we a player? Without the drum. Abhi idhar se, just make a new uh, group type, same thing. But the bass will have to keep an automation of going down and this will have to keep an automation of rising. Volume. There were a few grooves that were there that I had been working on, that vice versa I had been working on. And then Scribe just took it to the next level. Just it. And then the synth will get loud and the bass will go down. The thing is, we never confine ourselves to a theme as such, and we just sort of see musically where it directs you, the idea that you like, and then thereafter you let it sort of dictate its ideas through you. We knew that this was going to be sort of a pacey one, sort of rapid. All, all these words were actually all that word that I, I saw in front of me. Yeah, so this, this part is playing a tanana. -na. It yeah. should come after the uh, after vice versa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then we go into a monster break. Then we should go into a chorus. chorus again. Again. We were honestly just doodling earlier, but uh, for a while now we've been <laughs> composing these parts. So now we're pretty, I think, sure on on some level what the song sounds like. Try and make a, a good sort of amalgamation of both the the genres that vice versa and scribe bring in. We added a bit of samples and created a basic drum track and then uh, guitars got recorded, the basic tracks of the guitars and then those got mixed and the song finally just, the song is structured right now. At uh, the end of the day I think we yeah. laid down uh, yeah. a base, a bare bones for a track which yeah. we can really uh, record tomorrow and you know spice it up. I think once we go home tonight, uh, we're gonna take a scratch of the track with us and uh, you know see what we can do to better it maybe we see you guys tomorrow yeah hopefully which i do from my secondary home uh, because i use left as a prime uh, it's a uh, i played over the whole track but um, because it's a collaboration, we might have some parts which would be sample based and some part which would have like a live, uh, you know, live drum sound. Electronic, let's do that electronic. That can be an electronic beat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
we did not have a plan yesterday we were just trying out different things and then we came to a conclusion on one basic idea but then today we decided to go the other way around and try something new that we had not tried before like go to the unsafe waters and then it's it's pretty good it's good adventure time I am just going to go and record my uh, uh, textures my guitar parts uh, for the song <laughs> So left one plays da na na ta na na ta na 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 both play yeah. Want to listen to it? Yeah. I think I have to change some. Okay, there will be. Okay, mera. So, look, the song is ready in terms of uh, guitars. Guitars are done. Like the rhythm guitar is done. So I have to do vocal. I can do vocal now. Gotta make another shot so we done this. Step up it about a beat so we bomb this. Gotta let it frame the moment so we gone this. Let's get a name one done this. Better about it on the game that we bomb this. <laughs> I like it cool, man. Something good. Coconut can eat it. Huh? Coconut. Coconut, bro. That's it. I wrote out some parts because I tend to write in the flow. So I wrote out like an entire bit, and uh, we just sort of blocked out parts that that can be, you know, just I just erased that part and said, now Vman can write something on this, and then Kuto can write something on this. So I'm thinking that some of these parts, you know, mm. these parts can be Vman, you know. Mm -hmm. I was no. just thinking like one guy says something and then you know another another voice says something. So there's like a lot of like. Uh -huh. So we can do that. So we'll do that and yeah. then we'll, we'll. So that it's uh -huh. it's a little yeah, more yeah, like yeah. you know three things. Uh, but uh, but P man, Vishwesh and I have our own kind of unique vocal styles that we've honed for so many years. So we didn't even bother kind of like getting in anyone's way. The scribe guys kind of had put the structure down of the song, and they they left space for P man, and they left the chorus for me and. Uh, Chalo, let's let's do it. What you have done till now is perfect. I don't think anything can be tamped. I've written this, but even the like you can avoid it. You can write whatever you no, want. No man, it's all good. I think you should change this now. No, it's fine. To how? Cow? Cow? Cow would be better. Instead of shut your mouth, you could say shut your zip. So yeah, beta good. make it beta. I think we should start doing vocals soon man yeah man i think you know yeah, what we should just, do right uh, now is just make the song instead yeah. of like talking about making yeah. this song you better make it later <laughs> come on you must keep it simple you must keep it simple <laughs> Yo, yeah, yo, hold on, let it better now. This is essential for you to know. For these stars, but the light right in front of you. The rapid interface will fall back into nothingness now. Try okay. cross it between the two till you get a good. This needs to sound a little more yeah. beefy. And we keep it grinding all day. We bring them like face to life. Some them try to run, but they can't run like this. Kuto just uh, sort of, like, you know, a few, some of the lyrics I had written and some of the lyrics he had. written for that part and he just sang something blurted something out and it sounded really nice. Peman did some of his like like very Pemanish bits which were cool. I'm glad I got to do some the kind of rap I like to bring in and it's it sounds great with like that riff I think. Got another shot to be done this. Drop a bit about a beat for be done this. You better be a quick boy. We keep it grinding all day. We no look we just sleep boy. We bring him night Mr. Life make him all a reality. Never like anything matter. We never break no sweat on me. I like this. Yeah. Only that last line that never like any matter that that you can do and you can put like delay on that so no matter matter. Never let anything matter. Some of them try to run, but they can't run like this. Some of them try to bow, but they can't bow like this. Some of them try to bow, but they can't bow like this. The chorus would be a nice, you know, round, like nice sounding. It's like someone just, you suddenly just fell in water, everything slows down, and then you're back in fire. See me crawl from inside this crater. See me crawl from inside this crater. Come. See me crawl from inside this crater. See me crawl from. See me crawl from. See me crawl from. Stop! 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 Take them. Make them all from the level. From the 
from the earlier day. Move to be crawled from Sunsky Hotel with a bucket full of seeds and a puppet shaker. I told bless you now, be the baker. <laughs> That's, I love it. I absolutely love how it's turned out. There's, there's no other combination of people you could possibly put together to make music like this. Because it's just so random. It, vice versa has its own thing. Scribe's got its own thing. It's like a family picture, you know. Everyone's just like come together for this random moment. In London! Adrian! Chal, chal! I don't know, I see a guy stepping into an elevator. And then something to do with the, the number in the elevator that glows. And when it glows, it means you've reached and then it sort of parts open and there's light and then there's this octopus monster or some shit that you see after that. Something, that thing starts saying something to you and it starts spitting this radioactive slime at your face and then all goes up in flames and then it ends with a mad stick that someone just used. Actually, what's weird is, I feel the same way, just backwards.
The idea was to bring, get, make it sound like a very Western uh, American folk song, but the lyrics are in our language, and it's talking about a universal theme of bringing the world together and being happy about it. So, yeah, the song is about uh, how we can actually, if we make up our minds, we can move mountains and make things possible and keep things happy. The moment he started sort of playing it, I was like, yeah, it's definitely the same space that I'd want to work in. Pratik has developed a very unique style of plucking the guitar while he's writing the songs and that's something that I really enjoy. But I can see the future in him in the next two years. I think Pratik will be a very, very well-known, strong force in singer-songwriter area in the Indian independent music scene.